Rock Haven one morning and got weathered in and had to keep climbing to stay out of the clouds. And we, we ended up 6,000 feet. But it was beautiful up there. The sun was shining. But the, the clouds, uh, I had a little trouble, trouble trimming the airplane because you don't know if the cloud, le is, cloud level is level or whether it's slow. And it was completely closed in below. I mean, it was solid clouds. And when I did decide, well, there was another uh, Molly Precisen. She had been a, a delivered airplanes for the Air Force, and she she was. We were flying together. She was going to uh, Iowa, and I was going to Minneapolis, Minnesota. And we were flying along, and all of a sudden, I saw there was a hole, and she went right down through that hole. <laughs> She went down through the hole. So I, ma I made, made my circle, and I come back, no hole. So I pulled the carburetor heat on, pulled the throttle back, and I set up what I thought was a normal glide, and I started the circle, I mean. And I didn't know whether to spin the airplane down through the clouds or just keep circling. But all of a sudden, the tachometer quit working. Things started getting dark. And I knew what was happening when it started getting dark. So I started easing back a little bit on the pressure because I, I, I found out then when I popped out below, right in a valley. In fact, if I'd have been, if I'd have come down 200 feet east, I'd have been right in the mountain, right on the top of the mountain. But I was in that valley and I could look and I got my compass heading and that, right out of that hollow, that's the only way out, that was my compass heading. So that brought me into Clearfield.